old uh, Minnewaska Road. Not yet? Oh no. Yes, this climb. <laughs> this is that climb, Ken. I don't, you don't do it on your ride, you go around. It's a quarter of a mile. It's like 12%. Cause right there, a mile over, you get into Minnewaska. We come back and do that section. Said that one of her coworkers, she's a CPA. She's like a guitar player and has tattoos and stuff. And I said, if you guys ever start a band, you could call it busy season. How good is that? Great. Busy season. Steel Team 6 is awesome too. These are great names. <laughs> Yes, don't look at it. Don't look at it. That's what my wife said. Ah! one on. Awesome. 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 That's the steepest spot right there. On your left.
All right, Old Minnewaska Road. That stuff could go for a long time. That was a hell of a fucking climb. And then it kept going when you thought you were at the top, right? Yeah. I was chasing that fucking girl then. I had to go all out. She's fast. <laughs> that skin, that little girl. The woman. She's a little woman. She's fast. My one, my one cleat is worn out. My foot is rocking. <laughs> when I push hard, it's rocking. I gotta put new cleats on. Hello. down in that berm on the inside here. See where I go? You use it as a berm. <laughs> right turn. Oh, I didn't know you were coming by. Thank you. on an old school mountain bike. It's kind of like our modern gravel. Whoa, there he up. Yes. We just, we, hang in there, buddy. You got a nice soft landing. Be happy with, be happy with, yes, be happy with that. Yes, be happy, man. That's your, that's your one fall for the day. You're good to go. You were boogieing though. <laughs> You were big. You were. You were. Yeah, I mean, that's a hundred, hundred year old. That's like, geez, that's like the. That, that's yeah, worse. Plus the bike, eighty three years of experience. Nice, nice. God bless you, man. <laughs> 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 
That's like a modern gravel bike, you know, back yes, in the really, is. really is, right? They actually came back to this geometry. But you're back to 26s though, right? Yeah, this is 26. Yeah. This is, a, this is from 97. Oh boy. Yeah. Always good to see those bikes. All right, where's my buddy at? Hello. We got we got that mile and a half of uh, the pasture loop coming up. Do you know this area? Uh, There's a yeah, mile. I do, but it's called the pasture. I never quite put it together. It, goes, this way. it loops like a mile and a half in between this hill. Uh -huh. It's a real fun single track, not technical. And if they blew it, I couldn't see it the other day, but it's a mile and a half, man. It goes forever. Nice. You loop back like 10 times. Skinny little turns, you know, 180s you do, or you'll like it. Oh, this Oakwood is really nice too, with a couple of twisties on this sucker. Ah. Now, now it's nice. Yes, yeah, keep the sun in. It'd be too hot if it came out, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, the, the cloud cover is good. Perfect. Now, you, you're from this area, you said? Uh, a little bit. Before, about an hour south here. I live in Carmel. Okay, I'm an hour and a half south down in New Jersey. Where about? In uh, Essex County, in New Jersey. Oh, sure. Uh This road is really nice. It's called Oakwood. It's real. Oh, it loops back and forth. Like it goes down, then it loops back. A lot of wide open roads, just like you see here. And we're doing it in the good direction. I like it. And then we get that mile and a half of single track. The mountain bike section is not technical, but it's a mile and a half. It loops back and forth through there. That sounds There's fun. Like, That's coming up soon? Yeah, a little, another half mile or so. Cool. We'll make the right up on Klein Kill. Yep. And then the last quarter of a mile, you get a little bit of elevation in there, but it's just fun. I did it last week. I'm not from the area, but I came up to practice the uh -huh. course, and the leaves were so thick. Oh, Jeez. I was like barely finding it, you know? Yeah, the single track is been tough everywhere. Yeah. But they blew all this stuff out. I, You couldn't, the leaves were like six inches thick uh -huh. when I came last. I loved it like that, though. And you couldn't see anything, made it more challenging. Right. And you, you slip it on the gravel anyway, so the leaves aren't going to make it any worse. Uh -huh. And you just be prepared for something under the leaves at all the time, you know? Yeah, you got to have that neutral, like, flex. It's like a basketball is coming at you all uh -huh. the time, you know, that attitude. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So this is kind of like the middle. What we did this morning was the northern end. That's not as nice. So is that the Mohonk side and this is well, the Minnewaska no, side? No, this is all Mohonk. This is all we do, Mohonk. We do no Minnewaska. We do some oh, Mohonk. Okay. So this morning was all the northern end. Uh -huh. Now we're doing all the, the middle part. And then after we do this, we do the side closest to Minnewaska. We do two long, like straighten out loops. One goes out, then one comes back. Two separate roads. And we'll be touching, almost touching Minnewaska. Huh. But nope, no Minnewaska today. Be careful here. No Minnewaska today. Yeah, a little greasy there. Yeah. <laughs> this is my buddy. Did you see? Go ahead. I'm waiting for my friend, yeah. Oh, oh, oh there you are, Ken. Good. <laughs> All right.
I just love it in this section over here. So nice. Where are we going here? This way. Not here. Mountain bike course is coming up. Huh? There's a mountain bike section for a mile and a half. Right. It's right around the bend. Not technical though. Oh, hi. Mountain bike? Yeah, not technical, but it's fun. Okay. It's literally a mile and a half. Nice. Fucking goes forever in there. <clears throat> mountain bike with 12 bars, huh? Yes. <laughs> These gravel bikes can do some amazing things. Oh yeah. Once you get used to the uh, straight bars, I mean the, uh, the drop bars. Yeah. I have uh, done many uh, mountain bike trail on this. <clears throat> I've only had this for two months, but I'm starting to get used to it.
Dimitri. Dale. Big headway now. This is it, Ken. They blew it out, so it shouldn't be bad. It's not bad. I mean, you can definitely do it. So if I, it comes out right up there, Ken. So if I'm ahead of you, I'll just wait for you at the exit right there. Yeah, take your time. But it should be fun now that the leaves are clean. Fast your loop. Down in the drops, you get so much more control of your brakes. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't bend like that. Okay. Yeah, because I have trouble keeping my... I, I slip off of the hoods. Uh -huh. Down here, your vision's restricted because you're bent down. That's right. But in here, you, don't have, you can't see too far ahead anyway. Because yeah. that's what, you know, that's the nemesis. Because your your body, you mean? Yeah, yeah got you. Yep. So you do the best you can. Well, you get good at holding on to the hoods. That's what it is. Once you get good at that, then you're good to go. Oh yeah, it goes for a mile and a half. It goes for a while, <laughs> and then the ending, you get a little bit of elevation. Yeah, they blew this. The leaves were so thick the other day, I couldn't see anything. Yeah, well, then it makes you go slower. You know, so it's a different kind of fun. Uh -huh. Really, well, really what? This was last Saturday. But the time they put in to clean these trails up, oh, the, the tens of hours. So many people must have helped them in the last week. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Yeah, I love them. I mean, I started mountain biking three years ago. I was always a roadie. And then I got my mountain biking skills. I said, let me get a gravel bike. Now the gravel bike's a piece of cake because I can do the tactical stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. But if I didn't do the mountain bike, I was really a spaz. <laughs> uh, I'd be walking half of this.
I video all my rides, so you're gonna see yourself on here. My YouTube channel is called Off-Road Cycling. You can remember off-road cycling. Yeah, that's easy. Go there, I got hundreds of videos. You'll see yourself in a couple days. I videoed this whole ride last Saturday just to show the trail to people. That's cool. But you're gonna be in this whole vid, in this whole loop is gonna be you. So it's always fun watching yourself. That's pretty cool. My name is Rob, by the way. Hey, I'm Mike, Rob. Nice to meet you, Mike. Good to meet you. Yeah, some of these women can really ride these bicycles, oh, yeah. can't they? <laughs> now that women apply themselves these days, they're better than men. Well, a lot of times, you know, the strong women, like their strength to weight ratio, yeah, oh, yeah. is uh, really in their favor. Absolutely. Like that woman riding up there. Yes. She's got to be 100 pounds. Yes. And very, very yes. I had to chase her down on that climb. It took me forever to catch her. Huh. And she was like an animal, huh? That Minnewaska climb, that long one back there, yep. that we just came from. Wait a minute, oh, yeah. I thought he was going the wrong way. There's all these damn loops. <laughs> thought I saw a line in it. Before. Yeah, no. Just hang on. I always remember, you gotta keep the pedals going, because what happens is you take a little blurp and the body, the body forgets to pedal. So once I learned to always keep pedaling, you know, when you take like a, you hit something or you stop to pause. You can drive through it. Yeah, but if the body remembers just keep pedaling, you just go right through stuff. Easier said than done. Three years of breaking all kinds of bones, <laughs> losing teeth, broke my nose. Yeah, I've done it all, yeah. yeah I've, uh... Dislocated my shoulder very badly and broken my collarbone. But yeah, I've been lucky with the collarbone. Uh, last couple of years. Well, I'm I'm, gonna, I'm 64 next week. Wow, good for you. Yeah, so, awesome. so I know things are a little more brittle these days. Yeah. <laughs> super strong, though. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it looked like it rained or something, Mike. All this dampness. About that. Well, the leaves hold moisture, right? So you got this sucker, baby. You got it. I don't know. Oh, you got that nicely. Yeah. And you held your traction beautifully, dude. Yeah. The back wheel didn't slide. No, you did it beautifully, man. Jeez. It's a little bit damper than hero dirt, right? Yep. Just a little bit of sun would make it perfect. It'd be nice and wet, but not too slippery. No sun, no wind. Yeah, the wind. I was surprised how windy it was this morning. Gosh, when we were up on top by the tower. Oh, we couldn't see anything with the fog, right? Yeah, the wind was. Pretty oh yeah, perfect. it was ferocious up there. Oh, you're gonna love yourself in the video, man. Yeah. <laughs> Off-road cycling. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Yeah. Cause this is about, you know, at this pace, I think it was like eight minutes long. I was doing this this kind of pace the other day when I was in here. Maybe a little slower because of the leaves, but at eight minutes. All right, point, point two pence left. We're getting there. Thank you. 
Oh, the end of it's right there. You would have had it. Oh, <laughs> it's right there, sweetheart. Oh. I didn't want to hold anybody else. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> the ends. Are oh, you waiting for your friend? Yeah. It ends right up here. There she is. Yeah. Little bit of work, huh? Yes, it oh. is. That's why we're here, right? Yeah. Yes. That should be the end of it, right around the next bend. John, is that you? Yeah, the ending, the ending works you over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yep. Yeah. All right, Mike. Off-road cycling. I'll check it out. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Fun, huh? Oh, very nice. Well done. All right. Bike in here once. It's a lot of fun. What's that? I had my fat bike in here. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I know it's good. It's just on the descents. You, you can't roll as fast, you know. Those big tires would slow me down on the descents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Firefighter? Yeah. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's fun riding in here. Yeah. I mean, this is the this is the best graveling around in like the friggin' tri straight Yeah. Because then you get into mountain biking if you get worse than this. Right. Most of the gravel rides they do are a mixture of towns. Then you get some gravel, your know, old farm roads. A lot of bumps. A lot of bumps. Yes. Hard left, 
hard left. Thank you. Nice over in here. Yes. <laughs> a ton of downhill fun isn't there oh yeah i mean so much downhill fun he did it in the right direction i think yeah you know people think should i do it in reverse <laughs> this is a good direction good. yes <laughs> my buddy's back there somewhere i told my way for him <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's perfect. The cloud cover keeps it nice and cool. Yeah. Hey, I like those bars. Um, they do me no good. No good. Huh? I'm getting just a little bit of flare. Okay. Because they they come out like four inches on each side. I can't I can't get through narrow spots. Okay. If I ride in New York City, I'm in trouble. Oh, shit. So I can't get between the cars. No. Where are you from? Northern Jersey. Well, I'm from Essex County in New Jersey. Oh, right on. Exit 153 on the Garden State Parkway. I got gotcha. you. So, yeah, the bars do me no good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the thing I've been playing with is the next upgrade. 
and I went with 44s. I don't need 44s. No. 42 is plenty 42 wide. Would be good, yeah. Even 40. Yeah, well, I use 40 on my road bike. Yeah, so 42. 42 is perfect. Climbing, yeah. Forty-fours are fine for climbing. Yeah. <laughs> you get leverage, yeah. Definitely get leverage. On your left. Thank you. Two miles behind. Ah. <laughs> All right, I don't know what happened. If you, I know what happened, Ken. I don't know what happened to you. Lead is loose, not that it's loose, it's worn. So when I pedal hard, it's moving.
I am riding alone. Trying to wait for you, Ken. I missed the group I wanted to ride with, but. Zero seconds of sleep last night. That's how bad it was. Zero seconds. At about 10 o'clock, I couldn't keep my eyes open, but I wanted to stay awake a little bit longer so I could sleep further into the night. And I got to the point where I couldn't sleep at all when 11 o'clock came. So the next time I feel like I can't keep my eyes open, I'm just going to sleep. And if I wake up, I wake up. It's better than getting no sleep like I had last night. When I say zero seconds, I'm not exaggerating. They really did an amazing job cleaning the leaves. I guess that was the Glory Hill, a long hill we came up before that stop. Some company. Some company. I thought I saw that I thought that was on the wrong door. I was waiting for my friend. He's got the like the, the, the dark olive oil your know, shirt on. Yeah, yeah. And he must have not saw me waiting there and took off. Oh, and all the, I wasn't the wrong way to it. The no, you're doing the fifth you're doing the fifty-three, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh good, I have some company. Just ride at a nice fun pace. Fifty three. Well fifty four point what is it? Fifty oh, uh, uh. Oh, maybe it is, and I'm wrong. Okay. Maybe I think it's like 50.4. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, now we go over and do the... You know where they do the... They, they walk up... They, they climb up the cliffs? Yeah. We're going to do that section. It's called Undercliff. Undercliff, it's called. Oh, yeah. We do that with, right? Yeah. And then we come back on, on the upper cliff. 
Yes, oh, so four miles, yes. Oh, really? Oh, Lanape Lane. Oh, we, that's that climb we did at Minnewaska. We're not doing that again. To the left. Undercliff, undercliff, under yes. That's over. We'll be doing that when we come back, yes. Yeah, this is fun. Undercliff. Yeah. You live, you live here? No, I just found out about this place. I started graveling them two months ago. I was a roadie then, you know, I, I learned mountain biking for the last three years. And thank God I did that because now I can do the gravel and do anything. Yeah. <laughs> if I come from just road riding and not having the mountain bike experience, right. oh, all this stuff would be so technical for me. Yeah. It's, yeah, this thing looks like I'm be having to mountain biking is a little stressful. Yeah. So I came up six times in the last three weeks, all in October. Getting ready? Just, just for like, no, just for like the colors. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I found out, I, I found out about this race or ride just because I fell in love with Mohawk looking around on YouTube. Yep. I didn't know it was here. I didn't know they were having this inaugural ride. Yeah, where do you live? I live down in New Jersey. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess you live somewhere up here? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, then you do, yeah. Because yeah. uh, some of the, you no, know, some of the hiking, your hand over fist on some of these rocks they climb up. Yeah, it's yeah, oh yeah, exactly what it's scrambling. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I like riding in the city. Now, see these bars, how they stick out? See the bottoms here? Yeah. That's four inches on each side. That's eight inches. I can't get between the cars and buses. Oh, can't get it the top, like, these, can these, go up, these bars are going back. Too wide, they do me no good. I thought I would need all that leverage, you know, from the mountain bike bars. I have real wide bars on the mountain bike. You don't need any of that stuff on the gravel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I came last Saturday when it was beautiful. It wasn't that, well, it was cold. It wasn't that bad. It was a busy on the trip. Not bad. I mean, you can get through, it wasn't bad at all. Okay. Um, but people are spaced out now, but ah. <laughs> I was imagining pure chaos and I'm at the spot, so we'll see. Now what bike is that you're riding? Uh, the salsa warbird. Oh the salsa, yeah. Well these are salsa handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> these are the uh, wood chippers. Okay, yeah. The cow chippers have less of a bend. These really come out like they just bang out at the bottom. They twist yeah. they twist this way at the bottom. Uh -huh. Besides just flare. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I, I came up here, I was doing 60 mile rides every time I came up here because it's an hour and a half. Well, I live, you know, an hour and a half up. You're about the same from the yeah, city. Like, a little more? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get through the first half hour. I guess you got to come over to Tappan Z one way. It takes an hour to get out of the city, like two miles. And then it's are you downtown a little bit? Uh, I'm in Brooklyn. Oh, I love Brooklyn. Yeah. I, oh, I love Brooklyn. I didn't realize Brooklyn was as beautiful as it was. Yeah, it really is. I, I live in Greenpoint. Uh, in the neighborhood is amazing. Well, what's the part right below Prospect Park? That's the most right below it. Like, like Park Slope. Yes, Park Slope is beautiful. You think you're out in the forest. It's really nice green down there. I see a lot of, uh, a lot of rides across the park. I'm feeling the road mood. I went down, down on Narrows yeah. last summer. I went through all like the nice towns in Brooklyn. You know, I come from New Jersey, went down the west side, nice. go over the Manhattan Bridge and just, you know, the Red Hook and yeah, beautiful. Well that well, well when you guys go to Poughkeepsie you ride in them cold springs. Right? Uh, There's a I lot of the train. But but a lot of you know a lot of New Yorkers will take the train over to Cold Springs. Yeah. Do like a you know 60, 70 mile route. Sometimes they do a hundred. I have. And then they take the train back. Yeah, it depends on the ride in the OCA. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Well I love the OCA. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it is, no, no, you gotta. I videoed the whole three hours two weeks ago went out. We had a beautiful Saturday. Okay. I have a nice YouTube channel, I video everything. Cool. Yeah, the OCA, you got a hundred curves to get up. You know, through the Yonkers section. 
Hello. But I just found this. I would always take the road, you know, next to it, the overcliff. Right. I never realized this was here. Oh, the, this side? Under, yeah, this undercliff. Yeah, I think we'll do about the five mile loop. But yeah, this uh, up towards where the parking lot is, I think it's going to be a big crash. Okay. Well, it gets a little bit of grade there, so it'll slow us down yeah. anyway. And I thought there was a way you can come up, but no, the stair steps, they call yeah, it the, uh, <laughs> they call it the step master or something. Yeah, stair master. A stair master, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm new here. I just came up climbing last night. Walked walk this path already. But yeah, at the beginning where there's, there's like rope climbs right off, right off the gravel, so that's where it'll be interesting. Oh. <laughs> Now we go through a pot where they say mandatory dismounting the bikes. Yeah, did we already hit that or not? No, it's coming up. After we do the overcliff, okay. then we go the, we go up Laurel Ledge the way we came down. Yeah. And we go just a quarter of the way, then we make a left off of that. Yes, and we get into maple. It's called maple something. Okay. And the rocks are just, it's rocky going into it. Yeah. Then you get like, you know, like a foot and a half high rocks all twisted. Well, I tried I tried to get up and not hitting it's right there. Just that it's so steep, and then you gotta like throw the front end up. Uh, I couldn't do it. Totally yeah, yeah. That's where they call the mandatory dismount. But when I did it last week, the leaves were as thick as they are in the oh, woods. I, know, I loved it like that though. It's pretty, but a little spicy. Yes, yes. It was definitely beautiful, and the leaves weren't dried out and dead like they are today. There's two women I used to road ride with from Manhattan. They're pretty good. Let me just think of their names. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a road ride. Okay. I get dropped from Okay. Ride, so. Yeah, then you wouldn't know. Yeah, they do some. They were riding in Central Park this summer. Uh huh. Right, right. I mean, because there's a cool, there's a really cool like road scene in the city, like the early Central Park races. Uh huh. Races. Um, it was like 6 a.m. like Thursday morning. Yes, that's that's thing. what the girl was doing. Yes. Really fast. Tri <laughs> Trixie, Trixie is her name. Okay. I think she works for NYU, something in the like science department or something. Oh, I, or, I, go, I go to NYU. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. She's a fresh. She's, a world, she's older than like me, but. Some kind of professor over there doing research. That's the steps right there. Oh, crazy, yes. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello. So what What do they have? They have the ropes and what they have? So the big things are called crash pads. Okay. So there's like two types of climbing here. One is like rope climbing where you're like going high on these stuff. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. See, it's not too bad. It's just so beautiful over this end of the uh, yeah, yeah. This side of the road. Yeah, I mean, it's Yes. Now, Minnewaska is really wide open and beautiful. You know, yeah. Minnewaska right over here? Mm -hmm. That's really the most beautiful in the yeah. fall. I've done some 
amazing climbing on like the cliffs that we're looking at on the left side. Oh yeah. Up, all the way up top. Oh boy. Because there's a beacon loop out there. And then there's a mountain something, they come to a dead end. Okay, that's the, that's the most sad part, which wasn't bad. Okay, yeah, that's nice. yes, That was last week. What was the last incident? Um, it's a good question. And we meet again. How are you, buddy? You're a good descender like me. You're cutting through the gravel back there. Yes. Yes, always descending. Yes. That's just beautiful, that rock's looking at you right there. My name is Rob. My first name is Rob. What's your name? Yeah, Julia, that's just beautiful looking at that. We love it up here. Mohawk is the best. 